Hello, my name is Bella. Welcome to my peaceful Minecraft ASMR world. I hope you enjoy. Okay. I just spawned into this world for the first time. And there's a village over there. So, I think I'm going to get started by just grabbing some resources from the village. Why? Why make things harder for myself? looks kind of empty down here, but I'm going to keep exploring. It'll be good to have some food supplies on hand while we explore and look for a good spot to start a base. Hello. Let's see if there's anything else in here we can grab. Oops. This is a very odd... <laughs> ah. Okay. Oops. Let's just get out of there. Hi, kitten. Oh my goodness. Look at how cute that kitty is. I wish I had something to give it. I think you can make friends with kittens in this game. Honestly, sort of similar to real life by feeding them raw fish. The cats really like that. But I don't have any of that currently, so I'll just keep looking around. Hello! <laughs> nice. I'm gonna take a lot more of this, just so we have plenty of sustenance for a journey. I guess this village is actually a lot busier than I expected it to be. The area that we came in initially seemed so quiet, but there's a lot of villagers and it looks like they have some pet kittens. I don't know what these guys are doing. Oh, it's just this one guy. <laughs> Hello. He's very busy. And their village is kind of near some caves. Hmm. 
But yeah, there's a lot more going on than I than I noticed at first. Let's see what's in here. I'm going to take more bread and these apples and the potatoes too. We could plant those. I'm also going to steal one of the beds just in case I need one later. Hello. I think I've ever noticed the noises that they make when they're walking before, but I love the way that sounds. <laughs> He's just lumbering along. Hello cows. Hello kitten. Oh, I think I've already been in here. I'm already losing track of where I've been. Ooh. Uh. <laughs> There's so many villagers here. Oops. This is probably... Plenty of supplies. That's funny. The door was blocked by hay. But I think maybe now is a good time to say farewell to this village. and see where we want to go. So, this is the village. We just got a lot of goodies there. Maybe we should go in this direction. There are a lot of trees over here. That could be a good sign. Maybe some fun adventure. There's also a mountain peak, but that might be a sort of tough spot for a base. Oh, we've made a friend. Over here could be fun as well. It looks like that might be the ocean in the distance. And I always am a fan of going out in a boat on Minecraft. Ah, I think those are horses over there. Maybe we will go right in between a happy medium and head in this direction. It looks like we're going towards the edge of this forest, but there is a bit of ocean over here. So, let's swim for a moment. <gasps> Hello, fish. We found a beach. Looks like the sun will be setting soon. So this is kind of a nice spot to watch that happen. And we got a bed from the village. So we can sleep through the night out here, just kind of in the open.
I guess we're not really too much in the open because we found this nice forest. I'm just heading back towards the sea again. Hello, cow. Ooh. Ooh. Look. We definitely found a little bit of an adventure spot over here. We found some lava. And we found part of a portal. Wow. What a spooky spot indeed. Maybe that's a good sign. We're already finding lots of fun out here. <laughs> okay, so this is the other side of that forest. <gasps> oh my goodness. Look where we landed. This is beautiful. What's that? So, I just started this world today, just for, for the video, and we've already spawned in such a cool spot, really close to a village, and just a short walk away from a really, really beautiful coral reef. It's so pretty. This is one of my favorite areas in Minecraft. I think what I'll do is hang out here for a moment and start making some tools. It's a really peaceful night. Actually, Let's do this. So instead of going to sleep, I think it'll be nice to just get to work a bit. I'm going to make some tools just so that we can work a little bit faster. Look at that cow just up there on the hill. He's just doing his own thing. sounds that this game just automatically has. I find it really relaxing just 
as is. I'm going to make us a little boat and we can go out and see what it looks like out here. I think the coral reefs are just so, so beautiful in this game. I love all the different colors and the way that they're lit up like this. I think those are, um, it's like little sea cucumbers maybe that glow in the dark. Those little guys. And I just think they're so beautiful and peaceful. There's some fish enjoying the space as well. <laughs> I'm pretty sure... No, to clarify, I am not a Minecraft expert. Um, I really enjoy this game, but I have a lot to learn. But I'm pretty sure someone told me that the Minecraft coral reefs do not regenerate. So if you like pick them up, they won't come back. And that sort of makes me sad because they're so beautiful. It would be so fun to build with them. But it also sort of reminds me that it's kind of nice to just sometimes admire things as they are and then leave them alone <laughs> so I like to just look at the coral reefs but leave them alone <laughs> I'm not sure what this is Maybe it's a shipwreck, but it seems to sort of be, yeah, I think it is a shipwreck, but it's kind of in a weird spot. I think I saw a chest down there, so I might go back for it. Oop. How did I get there? But I don't want to run out of air. So I might just look at it from here. In fact, the way that this is spawned in, it's sort of hard to get there. <laughs> so I might just leave that too for the next person to find. Here comes the sun. That was a pretty chill first night. Granted, this is a peaceful world. I didn't want to deal with mobs while we're just having fun and trying to create a pretty chill environment. So, no surprise that we had a pretty peaceful first night. There's our crafting table. The coral reef is still beautiful in the daytime as well, and I think you can really see all the pretty colors, but there's something really cool about exploring it at night, seeing it all lit up. Okay.
let's take our boat with us and keep going on our adventure. See if there's a good spot to stop and make a little base. I do like settling down. Ooh. In oh a puppy. Or I guess I think those are wolves or dogs. But they can be puppies to me. I like the idea. Typically I like to settle down in a deep woods. I think that's nice. I want to see if there's another area around here that I like. <laughs> Hello, chickens. Let's climb up this mountain. While we're here, it might be smart to get some resources. is definitely taking its time here and that was really silly of me. <laughs> you can't pick up copper with a wood pickaxe, which I know but forgot. Oops. That's okay. Maybe now's a good time to make some stone tools. Give myself a little bit of an upgrade. I sort of don't mind the less fancy tools in Minecraft. So, like, using wood tools and things like that. Because they're really slow, which I guess a lot of people, that's the reason that they don't like them. Um, but I actually find it kind of nice and calming. I really enjoy all the sounds that this game makes. So, getting to hear them for a little bit longer with my wood tools does not bother me. a cool area. We're actually sort of up near that mountaintop. I wonder if you can get copper with stone tools. No, I'm nervous to try it and, and to lose out on the, on the copper. <laughs> I'm not in a rush, so we'll come back for it later. This 
is sort of a cool area. Up in the mountain. I'm not sure if I've ever had a mountain base in Minecraft. But it is sort of appealing right now. We have all these different resources up here with us. Although, there are some somewhat dangerous drops. But we have some caves, which would be really fun to explore. <gasps> we found some mountain pigs. Ooh, some lava. I don't know. Maybe maybe here's a good spot for a little mountain base. One thing to consider is how to get so, I don't necessarily want to make a base <laughs> that is so well hidden that it's hard to leave because I'd like to be able to explore and get more resources. So maybe we could have a little outpost base near this mountain. to my favorite. Oh, man. Oh, this is the way I went. I was like, I know I came some way over here. So it's kind of cool when you go through this little tunnel spot, then there's this big open area in the mountain. snow up here, which is nice. Oh, it's beautiful. You know what? Why not? Let's make a little... Oops. <laughs> that was a bigger drop than I thought. Let's make a little base near the snowy mountain. Okay, first of all though, how do I safely get down? I love the sound of the crunching snow in real life and in Minecraft. Okay, so this is our cool little natural tunnel that opens up into this area. I think we should make a base. Right over here in this grassy area that just kind of naturally happened to be here. So, I think first things first, gonna need to clear out this area and make it a nice flat surface.
having lava so close is a little bit spooky, but it's also kind of nice. I don't mind seeing the lava lit up in the distance over there. my shovel. I don't need a huge space cleared out, but it might make sense to fill in this area a bit. And I think I'll just have a small little house right here to start, maybe right next to the mountainside. Hello. I think that pig just nodded at me. I think that means we have a good plan. Pig approved. Oops. I'll make another shovel. Excuse me, pig. this tree. Sorry, tree. I think It's a beautiful, clear night <laughs> in our peaceful Minecraft world, and we're hard at work. I don't want to completely close this up. This, oops, <laughs> this area, but I think I will, oh, there's a little cave area down here. Maybe I won't close it up at all. Let's just make a temporary way to get up and down for now. just going to make a simple base with some cobblestone and maybe some logs. But I think in order to do that, 
I do need to get a little bit more cobblestone. But I want to be careful about where I'm pulling it from. So, I think it makes sense to flatten this part a bit more. Because I could potentially use this area for something. But I think it makes sense to sort of leave the caves as they are. And maybe I can make some stairs that go down into them in a bit. But I think just leaving them alone and kind of working with the terrain that was automatically created will be kind of fun. Originally, I was intending to quickly make a little house and drop the bed down and sleep through the night, but the clear night isn't so bad. Okay, let's see. just going to make sort of an outline of a little house and then we can fill in the floor with some wood are the start of our very tiny home. We'll put our bed over here. I'll make some stairs and we'll make more walls. It doesn't have to be very big. start out with really, really simple stuff. Hmm. I didn't make this an ideal shape, but the door can be off to one side. But I like to start simple and then sort of build things out as I go. This is a fine house to start with. All we really need is a little bed. I guess I can swap, swap those out, but I'll do that in a bit. Um, I think, yeah. And then I need a door. I guess I can come here. <laughs> I guess I can open this up to see how to make a door. I need a few more logs. Oh. I think this is our sign that we need a roof. Uh oh 
<laughs> we weren't fast enough for the rain. I like that you can jump on the beds. I think it's a funny touch. sure what'll be best for a roof. So let's just hmm. I think I always see people do these really beautiful builds and I just don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Just make some more planks. Oops. And start there for now. Another thing I like to remind myself a lot when I'm playing this game, and really any game, is that I can always go back and change it if I don't like it. So it's okay. To just get something down and then change my mind about it later. Like, this is not a beautiful roof. <laughs> It's a roof. We have a very cozy little house. And I think by cozy I really mean tiny, but that's okay. It's cozy and tiny. I can at least get some light in here. This isn't such a bad place. We can make ourselves a little path. I'm not sure where it's going yet. We chopped down a tree earlier, so it dropped some saplings. So I think I will replant those. So that we'll be able to get more wood and improve our very sad looking house. around here so I should be very careful while I'm building and digging so that I don't accidentally fall in I also don't want to get lost oops There's a lot of resources around here, so 
Well, that's fun. <laughs> A little bit confusing. I think... I think I'll have to learn how to navigate the cave. I also like this little lake that we have here. A few lakes. Caves are so cool. Well, this is our base for now. I think it's a little bit dangerous, particularly for me, because I am prone to getting lost in Minecraft, so this might be an interesting idea, but I think that's it for now. We have a base, we have our little bed, and I have some brainstorming to do. I'll have to figure out better house and a good way to navigate the caves without falling to my death and without getting completely, completely lost. So here is the start of our mountaintop cave base. <laughs> 